The Magma Crucible is a thermal expansion machine that can turn items such as cobblestone and obsidian into liquid. To craft one, you need a leadstone energy cell frame, two nether bricks, a machine frame, two copper gears, and a redstone reception coil. Once placed, right clicking on it will bring up its interface. This box here is where you can place items you'd like the Magma Crucible to process. Now, it does require redstone flux to operate, so I recommend bringing the redstone flux in via thermal expansion energy conduits. However, for this example, I'm just going to place a flux capacitor here in this box, which will move some redstone flux into the internal buffer. Hovering your cursor over this bar here will show you how much redstone flux is being stored. It has a maximum capacity of 400,000. This box over here will give you some basic information about its energy consumption. The current power consumption will be displayed here, and at its maximum speed, it will be using 400 redstone flux per tick. However, as the buffer decreases, the power consumption and operating speed will also decrease. So, it's always best to keep its internal buffer full. You can do this quite easily by connecting energy conduits that are being directed from some kind of energy cell. Over time, the Magma Crucible will use a significant amount of redstone flux. So, for example here, I'm just going to convert one piece of cobblestone into lava. It'll take around 30 to 40 seconds, and in total it'll use 240,000 redstone flux. In return, you'll receive one bucket of lava, which is equal to 1,000 millibuckets. The lava will end up here in this internal storage tank, which has a total capacity of 10 buckets, or 10,000 millibuckets. In addition to cobblestone, there are a few other items that you can process with the magma crucible, including obsidian, redstone, and glowstone. Have a look on some of the wiki pages to see a full list of compatible items, just paying careful attention to how much redstone flux they'll each use, and also the type of liquid they'll be turned into, because not all items will turn into lava. This button here on the interface will let you access the configuration screen. Here, you'll be able to see all of the configurable faces. The front face has this oval shape on it, and it'll appear in the middle. From there, the rest of the faces are positioned relative to that face. I'll change the colors to blue as I go, just so you can see. This one here is the top face. This one here is the left. This one here is the right. This is the bottom. And of course, this is the face on the back. Any face set to the blue color means that items can be brought in through that face via item ducts or buildcraft transport pipes. The blue color translates to the color of the input box here on the interface. Any face set to orange will allow liquid stored in the internal tank to be outputted via that face. In this case, the color corresponds to the orange outline around the storage tank. You can bring liquid out of the magma crucible by connecting thermal expansion fluid ducts or buildcraft fluid pipes. This part is optional, but there's also a redstone control panel here on the interface where you can set the magma crucible to respond to certain redstone inputs. It'll work as normal even if you don't change any of the settings in here, however. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and have a great day.